Mr. Dominic Whitehurst. Dominic, um, this was his work, and his work is um, very futuristic, very um, colorful and all. And when I met Dominique, I've known him for, you know, a little while. But as we talked, I found out that um, I know his uncle, who is a well-regarded artist. And that you know him, too. Um, Daryl is his yeah. uncle. Yes. Daryl Harris. Yeah. Right. Who was um, a long-time Milwaukee resident. So then I began to understand his expertise in the art. So even though he's very young, he still has been taught from a very young age. And when you look at his work, he has uh, a lot of symbolism. And one thing about Milwaukee, a lot of the art that you look at, for me, who I travel all over and look at art, um, and sometimes Milwaukee can be very, very dreary. And for me, a lot of the art reflects that a lot. But here he has a lot of color for a young guy, and you don't see any, um, you see life, and you see growth in his work here. And we're going to have a really special treat because he's going to be paid live for us today. So Dominique, would you like to say a couple of words about yeah. your work? Uh, thank you for coming here tonight, and I appreciate this showing my work here in this gallery. I've been knowing Cynthia for about two years now, and I started painting about two years ago, so it all just started aligning pretty well. I did this at a nonprofit organization called True School. True School is now located right down in the Grand, right down from MATC. I've been working with them since I was 16. And it's different artists that come in to help children or kids in general with their art form, no matter what it may be. And this is mixed media. This is spray paint, acrylic, and acrylic paint markers. And I use tape for the precise lines and everything. This took me about four to six months, just based off all the dense and heavy layering that it took to actually put it together. This, I call it, I call it a Metatron spirit, or Macurba face. Uh, Macurba is a vessel that is used to travel outside of the body when you are dead or when you're still alive. The thing is, they call it astral projection, and this explains what both of these are. This is me in the middle. When I was 16, I had a out of body experience, no drugs, nothing, just out of my body, watching myself sleep. This is me explaining that in the most elaborate way, because it's, it's so vast amongst a young mind, and if you're not ready for it, it can, it, can, it, can do, it can do a lot to you. I didn't go anywhere, I was still on earth, but it was like, whoa, I'm actually outside of my body right now. My arms are blue, my legs are blue. I was watching all of my cousins and me rest upon my bed. And these are my ancestors watching over me. This is, this is my father or grandfather. This is my grandmother or this mother spirit. And these are their spirit animals at the bottom. A cobra and there's an owl. An owl representing the wisdom and the cobra representing the, the different and various ways you go through life. And the parts of the actual brain, the reptilian part of the brain, which represents the cobra and how we react to things go through certain things. And this is a chakra piece that I did. The chakra piece, uh, instead of using the Sanskrit that comes with the, with the Indian writing or Hindu writing, I put West African symbols and kept two of the Sanskrit, the root chakra and the pineal chakra. The pineal chakra is the ohm or vibration that it's used to. But they say it's all consciousness, death, and life. I can keep going in depth with all of these, but it'll take forever. <laughs> so I'll keep it that and you That's can talk nice to thing. him one on one. So all I want to say is, this is the new Milwaukee. Yes. Yeah. One of them. Yeah, yeah. Many. Uh, so <laughs> now, I know you all see these most beautiful, elaborate paintings, and of course they come from the most skillful artists. My dear friend. Cosmic assistant, you know, I never wanted a sister, but it's all 